Greetings and welcome to the course NET. NET is uh, NBA accreditation and teaching learning in engineering. This course uh, will combine both uh, NBA accreditation and teaching and learning as well. Now, the acc accreditation is a process of quality assurance and improvement undertaken by a designated agency. Here it happens to be National Board of Accreditation. Uh, you should note that there are several reforms have taken place in the area of higher education in India in the recent past. National Board of Accreditation is a agency responsible for accrediting undergraduate and postgraduate programs in engineering, pharmacy programs, management programs, MCA programs and diploma programs in engineering. The NBA identified 12 program outcomes that all graduates of UG programs in engineering should attain. The NBA since 2015 requires that all UG programs should demonstrate that graduates of their programs have attained these POs. POs are program outcomes and are continuously improving their attainment. That is the requirement of uh, the accreditation. At present, most of the higher education institutes offering UG programs, uh, UG and PG programs in engineering want their programs to be accredited by the NBA because of several advantages associated with it. Even the draft national education policy 2019 requires that all programs and institutions are accredited by 2022. Teachers of uh, engineering colleges should be aware the context in which they are operating uh, and also of the requirements of accreditation. The programs in engineering are described in terms of what we call learning outcomes. Learning outcomes are what the student should be able to do as a result of learning. These outcomes should be observable and measurable. Now, all teaching and learning activities in an engineering program should be planned and conducted to attain a set of well defined outcomes. Teaching to ensure that their students attain these outcomes is a new requirement from the teachers since 2015. This is now known as outcome based education. Teachers of engineering colleges should now meet the requirements of the NBA accreditation and the outcome based education. The course NATE is designed to enable the teachers of engineering, uh, teachers in engineering programs to facilitate their students to become good engineers. The course is meant for teachers of engineering programs and the course aims at facilitating the teachers so that they can do a better job of their teaching learning and make their students to become good engineers. And also the course aims to facilitate teachers understand their role in getting their programs accredited by the NBA that is the purpose of this uh, course. The course is offered in three modules. 
it is a 3 credit course and has 3 modules as per the requirement of NPTEL. Module 1 presents the NBA and OBE framework in detail. It facilitates writing outcomes in the framework of a revised Bloom taxonomy of learning and also presents a method of computing the attainment of outcomes. Module 2 uh, presents a systematic method of uh, designing and conducting an engineering course as per ADI instructional system design model that facilitates the students to attain stated outcomes. Module 3 presents some methods of instruction. It also discusses the element of all the 10 criteria of self assessment report of NBA and points out many proactive activities that the teachers can undertake that can lead to better accreditation scores. This course is offered as a MOOC through NPTEL. The course is offered as about 60 units of about half hour videos. Some resource materials will also be made available. As per the requirements of NPTEL, there will be weekly assignments and all the assignments and the examination will have only MCQ that is multiple choice questions or multiple selection questions and fill in the blank type of uh, items. The course will be useful to working teachers in engineering colleges. The main uh, uh, designated audience or intended audience are the working teachers in engineering colleges. And the it will also be very useful to academic administrators including principals, HODs, controllers of examinations, deans, IQSE coordinators and registrars who are really responsible for su uh, supervising or overseeing the all the activities related to uh, related to accreditation as well as constantly improving the quality of uh, learning. And the course will also be useful to aspiring teachers, those who are outside and maybe they have completed their postgraduate programs and they want to uh, become teachers in engineering colleges, it will also be useful to them. And then some graduate student who wish to make their careers in education technology, they can uh, enroll for this course. and. Uh, and get all features of uh, of uh, what do you call accreditation and design and conducting a course. And it will also be useful to companies offering education technologies and training programs to educational institutes, teachers, students and corporates. So, these days we have uh, several companies that are coming to offer such services this course can also be useful to these companies. And now let us be clear as uh, outcomes is the basis of uh, all courses. So, we also have outcomes, course outcomes for the course NET. At the end of this course that is after 3 modules, the learner should be able to understand the requirements of accreditation of UG engineering programs by the NBA and the nature of outcome based education. Next outcome, understand the revised Bloom taxonomy of learning and the 3 domains of learning which include cognitive, affective and psychomotor domain. CO3, write outcomes of a course in an engineering program and identify the program outcomes and the program specific outcomes addressed. 
the CBO4 design a course in an engineering program in the instructional system design framework of ADI. CBO5 design assessment that is in good alignment with course outcomes. Then in module 3 design instruction for attaining the course outcomes ensuring good alignment between course outcomes, assessment and instruction. And uh, finally, CO7 understand the NBA accreditation criteria. We bring it to your attention, there are several technical words that we have included in this, but each one of them will be elaborated in detail when we come to the appropriate point. So, presently please accept like what is ADI, what is program specific outcomes, what is alignment, these are words that are used with a specific meaning in this context. As the 4 year BE program aims at training graduates of 12th standard into engineers, it is necessary to understand what engineers do or are expected to do after they graduate. This should be the teacher should communicate uh, this in great detail to the to their students. Engineers for what do they do? They engineers architect, plan, design, develop, manufacture, test, install, operate and maintain technological products and systems. They will not, they are unlikely to do all of them at the same time, but at different points of their career, engineers are going to be involved with two or more activities of this type. And engineers also provide services using technological products. And some groups of engineers and non-engineers work together to solve socially relevant complex technical problems. Typical examples are traffic, water for example, the or, or any issue related to climate change or a disaster and so on. When they are uh, these complex technical problems can only be solved by groups of engineers and non-engineers working together. And engineers are also required to operate and behave as per well defined professional and ethical standards. These are the things that engineers do or required to do. We want to train our, our students as good engineers. Who are good engineers? The characteristic of a good engineer considered important by the industries, we will say industry or organizations who employ our graduates. So, we should really ask these people to say whom do they consider as good engineers. A survey of this industry shows that, that practically all of them agree these uh, uh, to these main characteristics of uh, good engineers. A good engineer should have sound knowledge of engineering science and technologies. And then they should have ability to solve well defined or ill defined problems. All the time problems will not be like end of the chapter problems. They, they will all be ill defined problems that means one of the activities an engineer has to do is convert a ill defined problem into a well defined problem. And good engineer engineers have awareness of customers needs and market trends. And they have an interest and awareness in all facets of engineering activities and more importantly they have ability to work in a team that is because no engineering activity is done out in the industry by any single person. They always will have to work in a team and 
they should also have ability to document, plan and communicate effectively. And lastly, uh, they should have willingness and ability to learn on the job because technology changes all the time what you learnt in the undergraduate program will not be sufficient and you have to constantly learn. So, these are the characteristics of good engineers. Then we should also understand what is the nature of formal programs, why we need to emphasize is some people consider teaching and learning is a kind of a, a, a kind of open ended free activity and so on. For example, methods that work when the number of students in a class are small and when the cognitive abilities of the students are very high like you have NIT or IIT students or when you have gifted teachers that means very highly qualified proven uh, experience in research and teaching and so on such things do not scale up you cannot create too many such institutions in a country. When the numbers are large, the only successful model is, is a formal program. It is necessary to understand the nature of these formal programs. Higher education formal programs are of 2 to 4 years duration, offered as 2 semesters per year carry predefined credit load, have well defined curricular components, have predefined assessment procedures and have predefined methods of grading. In India, we have further restrictions that do not exist elsewhere in the world. Most of our engineering colleges are non-autonomous and a large number of colleges are affiliated to a single university. This is unique to India, nowhere else it exists. Most of the academic activities therefore, as everyone knows are centralized. This centralization brings its own limitations and also conveniences. This situation is not likely to change uh, much in the near future uh, despite many people wanting otherwise. On many platforms people will keep saying that uh, we need to all colleges should become autonomous, but somehow it does not get translated into increasing the number of autonomous institutions. And all undergraduate engineering programs are required to impart knowledge, skills and attitudes that facilitate the graduates of 12th standards, 12th standard to acquire the characteristics of a good engineer. The boards of studies decide what knowledge, skills and attitudes need to be imparted. These decisions generally are strongly tempered by the experiences of the members of boards of studies. The characteristics of good engineers expressed as program outcomes by the NBA are the only things that every program should demonstrate their attainment. So, at present the only thing that is common and is uh, uh, rather imposed you can say are defined or identified by national board of accreditation are the 12 program outcomes which we will be dealing with in great detail in the later part of this course. Other than that each university or each autonomous institution depending on the uh, experiences or opinions of the members of the boards of studies will define what kind of knowledge and skills and attitude to be imparted in a undergraduate engineering program. In the next unit, we will be introducing the 
NBA accreditation process. This will not be done in great detail, but it the purpose of the next unit is to really sensitize to all the teachers to what are the stages or what are the processes involved so that they do not feel that the some kind of a imposition is coming on them and thank you very much for your attention.